Rev up your engines. Jesus, Father, says, <laughs> Scotty, I'm looking to rebuild the IOT 6 4.0 transmission, my Jeep Cherokee. I want to replace the all-wheel 4 with a manual. What do you recommend in the Denver, Colorado? To send the block to be bored and buy a remanufactured transmission? Yeah, if you can get a remanufactured transmission, I'd do that. But the uh, block... I don't advise trying to have one guy bore the block out, somebody else. You want, you're better off to buy a totally remanufactured engine. That's just the way that it goes. Now, that is a Jeep. They're very popular, and a lot of guys like souping them up for off-road. There's a zillion places out there that you can buy really quality remanufactured engine. I would just go out and have them do the whole thing and then install it, because you don't want to mix. Over the years, I've seen more people have serious problems with their vehicles, because, oh, well, one guy did the block, another guy did the head, another guy put it together, and each one is trying to blame the other if there's a problem. You want to get a quality remanufactured engine engine if you want to do it right. The whole thing. Don't do one here or one there. Jose Alombre says, good morning, Mr. Kilmer. I was wondering about the Chevy SSR. Were they decent trucks? No. <laughs> I hope you haven't bought one already. <laughs> I had customers who bought them. They had nothing but headaches. Some of them tried suing GM under the lemon law to get their money back. One of them actually did, but the other ones, they didn't win when they had their case with the negotiator, because a lot of times the negotiators are actually picked by GM. So... <laughs> Guess who they're going to side with, you know? Not that honest of a process anymore. Originally it was, but it isn't anymore. Uh, the quality of those things, just they just don't have the quality. If, but if you have it, take care of it. guy the other day came with one to me and said, Oh, what should I do, Scotty? And I said, Look, you're going to get nothing for it if you sell it. And it's working okay now. Just... Let me maintain it for you. And if something major's going on, I'll tell you, get rid of it now or just keep driving it until the wheels fall off, it doesn't work at all, and then junk the thing. You don't put a lot of money in it, but if you got one, take care of it. You never know how long something's going to last. And if it's paid for, what the heck, just keep driving it. If you're not going to get anything for it, use. It's my theory with any kind of car. Michael Blackwell says, Scotty, I'm thinking about buying a Honda Element for $5,000 with 150,000 miles on it. Should I get the automatic? or the stick. You definitely want the stick. The automatics and those things are kind of weak. The sticks, those things are screamers. I've got customers with elements with five-speed standard transmissions. They'll burn rubber in all four gears. Those things are zippy. They don't weigh all that much, and with a standard transmission, it's much more fun to drive. You get better gas mileage, and it will not break like the Honda automatic transmission. Honda, of course, started out as a motorcycle company. They're all standard transmissions transmission other than a 750 Honda they made once with an automatic that was a piece of junk they couldn't sell nobody wanted to buy it they were terrible so their standard transmissions are bulletproof buy the standard don't buy the automatic and then those things can really zip around but if it's got 150,000 miles on it I try to pay a little bit less than five grand for it. That's a lot of money for that kind of mileage, really. Eric says, Scotty, good morning. What do you think of the 2003 Ford Focus standard transmission with 138,000 miles on it? The Focus is a lower line car, but the main problems they have are their automatic transmissions. They even had a class action suit against them for some of them. That's a standard transmission. Much better made vehicle. I got customers with old Focuses with standard transmissions that have 250,000 miles and they're still running strong. So, that's not bad. It could last a long time. But if you're talking about buying one and it's an 03 with 138,000 miles, don't pay that much for it because their resale value isn't that high. You're not going to get any warranty, so, you know, you're gambling with your own money, but you're not paying that much for it if you get it for a little bit cheaper. Get your money's worth out of it. Always pay less for an older car. It's got higher mileage on it. Might be a good car because it's the standard, but don't overpay. Don't ever overpay. Ernie Sparty says... I got a 1.9 TDI engine. It burns a lot of oil. One liter every 500 kilometers. Can it be the turbo? Yes, it can be the turbo. They get turbo blow by. Realize that the turbo on that thing is also oil cooled and oil lubricated, just like the engine. It uses the same oil supply. And if the seals start to go, it will blow it through. And here's how you can tell. Just take 
the air line off, the duct work that goes from the turbo into the engine where it sucks the air in. If that's all coated with oil inside, your turbo, because that should be totally dry. If it's got oil, your turbo's bad. Simple check. If it isn't, then it's your engine just burning off. I bet it's a turbo, because a lot of them, as they age, they do that on Volkswagens. Their quality control isn't what it used to be, to say the least, which is a big reason I tell people not to buy Volkswagens anymore in the United States, at any rate. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.